Whew, that one was a doozy. I counted six kills in Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, although maybe I should have counted the aging kills in time too? Oh well, whatever, this thing is all messed up. I'm not even sure what to do about a pie chart. Oh yeah, I guess that works. Colors are fun! With six episodes across the web series, that left us with an average of one kill per episode. Easy. Ah! Huh. That guy is crazy! I counted 148 kills in Mortal Kombat 9, which included nearly every playable and named character and a whole bunch of dead folk in the background. For this pie chart, I'll divide the kills between the 98 background bodies or extras and the 50 named characters I counted, 34 of whom were in that opening scene. As far as who did the killing, 9 characters had confirmed kills on screen. Raiden and Sindel tied for the most with 8, Shao Kahn was in 3rd place with 4, and all the other killer combatants scored a single casualty with a K each. And if you didn't notice, I can't really do time codes or run times with a video game, so those are all the stats I have for you here in this void. I counted 10 kills in Kronos, and all of them were men, giving us una tarta de arandanos. This count and gender breakdown has happened twice before on this show, in Child's Play 3 and Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. With a runtime of 82 minutes, Kronos gave us a kill on average every 8.2 minutes. I counted 27 kills in the music videos for the Silver Scream, so I guess that news report was accurate. The dead included 15 men, 10 women, and 2 unknown bodies. Can't really tell when they're in a bag, you know? The victims also included repeat defenders. I counted 2 kills each for drummer Patrick and guitarist JD, 3 kills each for bassist Justin, actress Jessa, and Spencer himself, and finally, Nadia took home the gold by getting killed 4 times across these 5 videos. Speaking of which, the kills averaged out to almost 5.5 per video. Not bad. 